Hey ladies, I want to talk about something interesting. <clears throat> um, so I was seeing this guy for a little while, a while back. We're just kind of like friends now because these didn't really work out. But um, when I originally met him, he was showing a lot of signs of like being the kind of provider male that I like. Okay. On a couple of occasions, he said stuff like, oh, women never pay for me. I would never allow that. That's wrong. I would never let a woman pay for me. I'm a man. I'm a real man. If you're ever with me, you will never pay for me. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah that sounds good. That's, that sounds really good, you know? He's, he's got the right kind of mentality. So anyway, as time went on, <clears throat> you know, after like spending some time with him and, you know, hold on girls, it's the E sound, hold on, eating with him and drinking with him, <laughs> I started to notice that like he didn't really want to pay for me. And I'm like, hey, wait a minute. He was all talking about how he's a man and all this kind of stuff. And I realized he felt very much like a man because he was right. Women didn't pay for him. But he also didn't pay for women. Or he did a little bit, but he was very resentful about it. Like he didn't like that. I'm just telling you this story so I can show you like the different levels that men are at at different points in their life. So I've figured out, come to the conclusion that this particular man, you know, a really nice guy, he's come from a place where, hold on, let me take this news line out. He's come from a place where he's around a whole bunch of men who have women pay for them, okay? He does not like that, doesn't wanna be like that. He frowns on men like this. I don't know if he used to be paid for and um, maybe he has gone on a level up journey and now he's, now he's brought himself to a place in life where he doesn't have what women pay for him. And he's he is a very proud of the fact that women do not pay for him, okay? Which is really cute, okay? But he's not so much at the point where he's paying for a woman, okay? In his mind, you know, the way he has spoken to me and the things we've talked about, he thinks he is a really great catch because women do not pay for him. Women, you know, he doesn't let women pay for him. So he feels really good about himself. He feels like a man, okay? In his mind, he is an independent, responsible man that takes care of himself and does not need a woman to take care of him. And in a lot of ways, he is very right. I mean, it is much better to be a man <clears throat> that pays for himself rather than uh, being a man that has to have women pay for him because he can't take care of himself. So he is right in, you know, what he's saying is valid and right. And he has every right to feel really good about himself. And he does. He feels great about himself as a man. He's like, he's very, very proud of himself. He feels very successful. Okay. To us, you know, the hypergamy community, we see a man that, um, will not let a woman pay for him. Yeah, that's great. But he also has no intention of paying for her. We see that as a guy that's trying to go 50-50. We see that as not a qualifying man. He does not qualify to be with us. We don't like that. We don't like that crap. We see that as very dusty, okay? There are different levels to dust, okay? There are men that are dustier than him. He's risen above that level of dust and now he feels very content with himself especially because he's around a lot of men that do not pay for women and also get paid for by women 
So where he lives in his community and his circle of people, he is the manliest man there is there. And he feels great about himself. And when he thinks that women find him to be a great catch, the women where he lives and in his circle, they do think he's a great catch. Because if those women were used to paying for men, and all of a sudden they meet him, and he's like, no, you're not gonna pay for me, are you crazy? We're splitting this check, girl. I would never have a woman pay for me. She's gonna be like, wow, oh my God, what a man. He didn't let me pay for him. I only had to pay for myself this time. I mean, in certain places in the world, in certain communities, what we call a 50-50 guy is actually a good catch. I mean, if that's all you have to choose from, a guy that you pay for or a guy that pays for himself, you're gonna be more attracted to the guy that pays for himself because hey, at least he's a real man that can take care of himself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My man can take care of himself. <laughs> That's just funny because it's true, but it's not good enough for us. <laughs> I don't know, I was just thinking about that and like, he's a nice guy, he is. And it's so cute how he's so proud of himself. I'm like, I guess I'm proud of you too. I mean, it could be worse, right? It could be, and he's right. Yeah, but I don't even think he's really aware that there's like a whole nother level where like men pay for women. Like he did pay for me a couple of times. And later on, I found out that he was like upset about it apparently. I just didn't try to pay, but maybe he was like waiting for me to pay. I don't know. And I never did. And then, you know, apparently he was upset about it. Whatever. But I'm just making this video to like show you the mentality. And it's not like a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's a funny thing. And it's a real life thing because there are men out there that paying for themselves is a huge accomplishment. And it is, if he were my son and he just started paying for himself, I would be proud of him that he's paying for himself now, okay? Everybody is learning things at their own pace, depending on where they come from, you know, what type of people they're around, what they're learning. And this man, yeah, he's like 35, but that is something to be proud of. He is taking care of himself. It would be better in my eyes if he was taking care of a woman too, but he's not right now. He's taking care of himself though. And he probably didn't always used to do that. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe in 10 years or so, he'll be in a situation where he is taking care of a woman. And then God, he's proud of himself now. Imagine how proud of himself he would be then. Oof. He would be like over the moon. Just feeling great about himself, feeling like a super powerful man. So I just wanted to share that with you. Talk to you later. Bye for now.